What would you say to prospective contestants and really all of our students, the importance of the recording process? Mm. You know, when we were growing up, the first thing we did, you, you, you would talk, you'd take your Watchman recorder mm -hmm. and just record for intonation right, right, and right. record for the things that are not together. Yeah. And of course, it would sound terrible, but I mean, that's all we had. Now mm -hmm. everything is digital. Um, and I, I feel like too many people rely on the equipment. So you mm -hmm. buy an expensive piece of equipment, it's going to record by itself. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of advice would you have for them to produce the kind of recording that would be true at least to where they are as artists? Mm -hmm. I would definitely. Um at least get the conditions, you know, getting good recording uh, equipment or recording engineer to help mm -hmm. you produce something that is of the best quality. Right. Getting a good instrument, right. uh, a good acoustics so that you can, you know, react and create. Right. Um, and then during the recording process, I would just encourage them to play it like a concert, you know, because when you're thinking, oh, wrong note, okay. Right. Live There's concerts. no continuity. You just stop. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then so this, you know, slicing back and forth, I'm not so sure we can really see a true picture, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like speaking, um, having a conversation, just because you had one wrong word and then slice, you know, splicing something else in. Mm -hmm. It just, it doesn't have the same meaning. Right. And, and it, this, all of this has to come from the heart. At least that's what I'm looking oh, for. Oh, I agree with you completely. Yeah. I love that you said an engineer, because oftentimes with some students, they say, well, it's so expensive, it's better mm -hmm. that I would just get all of the equipment. But what they don't realize is what you said, in order to get a live performance, mm -hmm. you can't edit in a live performance. No. <laughs> the edits are emergencies. Yeah, exactly. So what you want to do is you want to have essentially a baseball manager right. who runs your session and gets the best out of you. Yeah. We both know that for our you know, right. st studio recordings That's as well. right. Yeah. You know, if your engineer keeps stopping you or conversely never stops you, right. and then you go, well, we don't have this covered. So yeah. you need that third party, I think, mm -hmm. to, to really be able to be in tune with what you're doing. Exactly.